Hi, this is Captain Video, and you're watching a speedy review of Star Wars The Black Series Lando Calrissian from Solo, A Star Wars Story. You know, it seems like since Disney took ownership of Lucasfilm, we'll be getting a new Star Wars movie every year or two from now until forever, and with mixed results. But ever since the first teaser trailer for Solo, A Star Wars Story was revealed, what everyone was talking about most was Lando. And not just any old Lando, as if there is such a thing, but a young Lando played by Donald Glover. We all knew he'd be one of the best things about the movie, and we were right. And now here he is in action figure form. The packaging tells us Captain Lando is smooth and sophisticated, but anyone buying this figure already knew that. Outside of the packaging, this figure looks great, and it's easily the best one to come out of this wave. The figure stands just at 6 inches tall, and it looks great. Lando comes with the standard Black Series articulation, however he also comes with extra neck articulation. He has an unusual added swivel at the bottom of his neck, which means he can tilt his head big time but also means your figure might have his Adam's apple out of place if you're not careful. His right leg's poseability can be hindered by his holster, which technically holds the included all-silver blaster, but is kind of a nightmare. I'll probably never put the blaster in there again because I feel like I'll bend the blaster, or worse, break the loops in the holster that the gun is supposed to easily slide into. And so, while functional, that's probably the worst part of this figure. In addition to the blaster, the only other included accessories are his cape, which is removable, and his scarf, which is also removable. I mean, in Solo we found out when the Falcon was his, Lando had a whole room filled with capes, making this figure the most fashionable Black Series figure around. There's not too much detail on the sculpt of the clothing or the body, but the paint apps are simple and terrific. I love that he's wearing yellow on this fig because it really helps him stand out among the other Star Wars figures that will be in your collection. He will pop when standing next to the lot of other characters dressed in beige or brown or white and or black. The best part of this figure is the face sculpt. Hasbro's relatively new face printing technology is incredible and this looks just like Donald Glover as Lando. Forget that Donald Glover doesn't look that much like Billy Dee Williams because he captured the essence of the character, and so does this Lando figure. It's easy to pick him up and imagine him saying, Hello, what have we here? Or whatever memorable quote he had in Solo. Did he have one? You know, besides calling Han Han? Which I thought was cool. Anyway, since Solo seems to have a sort of lukewarm reaction at the box office on its opening week, it's also worth pointing out that this figure looks enough like Donald Glover that this could totally double as a Childish Gambino action figure as well. And so that's all the more reason to pick this one up. If you liked this review, be sure to subscribe to the channel and like this video. Let me know in the comments what you thought of Donald Glover taking over for Billy Dee Williams as Lando. Thanks again for watching this video, and as always, Remember, you don't need a cape to be a hero. If you want to be awesome, just treat people awesome.